Hey there, New City. It's time for the Family Minute. Those making a gift today can do so by text to give, dropping cash or checks in the giving boxes, or at newcitygive.org. Stop by the engagement counter in our lobby to get help with your church profile, with finding a place to serve, or with finding a missional community. If this is your first visit to New City, we want to connect with you. Grab a Connect card from a seat back pocket and bring it by. We have a gift for you and would love to say hello. This afternoon, we have a New City U class on one of the five solas of Reformation, Sola Gratia, or By Grace Alone. Understanding the role of grace in our Christian journey helps us to better rely on God when life gets difficult and helps us better share our faith with others. We hope you'll grab your lunch and join us in the Flex Room from 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. Let's talk about our kids and students for a moment. The Barna Group recently researched young people in the church, and this is what they said. For the next generation, atheist is no longer a dirty word. The percentage of teens who identify as such is double that of the general population. Another study shows that Christian millennials are increasingly unwilling to share their faith in Jesus. Some are even morally opposed to the idea of evangelism. These studies paint a stark picture of the challenges facing today's Christians, and especially those of us who are building into the lives of children and teens. How do we demonstrate the benefits of Christianity to our children so they develop a depth, resilience, and maturity in Christ? Next Sunday, we are honored to have Cameron McAllister, author of Faith That Lasts, join us to open God's Word on this very subject. Then, in the afternoon, from 4 to 6 p.m., Cameron will lead parents, or anyone who has influence in the lives of children, through a discussion about the paralyzing role of fear in so many Christian households, and how cultivating discernment in our children offers a biblical way forward. Drawing from his own story, Cameron will show that we must allow our children to fail successfully, because only then will they be able to develop the skills and resilience necessary for spiritual maturity. The cost is free and childcare is available for this event. Be sure to sign up right away at newcity.family. Join us on November 4th at 6.30 p.m. for a time of prayer and fellowship for our local and global ministry partners. This is a potluck dinner, what you Southerners like to call covered dish. Incidentally, the origin of the term potluck comes from the indigenous peoples of the Pacific Northwest and Canada who had an elaborate gift-giving feast called a potlatch. At least that's what the internet told me, and so you know it's true. Solo Wikipedia. Anyway, in keeping with the traditions of the Pacific Northwest, I'm probably bringing a lasagna. We hope to see you there. Bring the kids. They are welcome to fellowship and pray with us. There's a sign up for the potlatch at newcity.family. We are excited to announce that as of November 7th, New City Kids will be opening a second through fifth grade class during the 11 a.m. worship gathering. This means that kids from nursery through fifth grade have a class in both worship gatherings. Pre-registration for classes will continue so you can be sure there is a spot reserved for your child. NewCity.Family is where you find out what's happening in the life of New City Church. Also, visit us on Instagram and Facebook. See you next time!